Hello, I am Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Before you, this you see uh, the Edu probe, which I did eventually get into orbit. It, well, not just orbit, but I got it on its way. Um, there it is, zooming off into the wide blue yonder. Well, black, the inky blackness of space. Uh, ba 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 ba. And I eventually got. Um, oh, I was actually really aggravating. Um, this is the target. You know, the, the this yellow orbit here. Let me get a precise note. This yellow orbit here is the actual uh, target. Um, I plugged in all the numbers, and I and and you know the right delta v at supposedly the right time. Um, and this is the best. I had to do quite a lot of fiddling to get this uh, here, which, you know, it's also a fairly huge. Um, da, 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 distance between the two. Um, and then I've got, so I had to, I've got a correction node in here that does get me, I believe, some kind of um, intercept. But that is going to be uh, quite some time from now. So we're just going to let that go. It's going to be 33 days before... Oh, it's actually going to be... Ages. The Ely Probe. Yeah, I'm not going to have to go back to it for like n another two years in-game. So i just move that down there. So another... Yeah, two years in-game for that. So like... Uh, um, so instead, let's go have a look at um, Eve. Now, I've got 15 days. In theory, I could do a couple of moon missions, maybe. Um, there are, in fact, some anomalies on Kerbin that I really do... Well, need is the wrong word. There's a couple of missions on... A couple of anomalies on Kerbin that I would quite like to go visit. But, you know, right, I'm not doing those. Well, I said nothing. I'm having a look at see what it says. I'm not actually going to keep the... Yeah, 17 sides, not worth it. Um, where, is, where, am, where am I? Material studies things. Where are my materials back? Oh, they're in there. Oh, they're, mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, it's 15 days before um, the Eve Explorer crosses into the sphere of influence of Eve. And the Eve encounter... Maybe they go away. Uh, the even counter is the next thing to happen, so let's warp some time. Maximum time warp! Ooh. Look, there's Eve. I might be able to see Eve now. All right, minutes to go. I have to have, have a look at, I might want to start staging things. I've apparently got 20 meters per second left in this stage. Okay, so, duh, 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 how long is it actually going to be? About a minute, like, which is in fact what I wanted. So we're going to twiddle our thumbs a little bit until uh, we get closer. Then I'm going to have to start thinking about exactly um, 
what I want to do with my encounter. <coughs> um, I mean, ideally, what I, what, I, I, what I want to do, I think, is set up a polar orbit of Gilly first. And then um, release half of my satellites. That's still asking for those. Release half of my satellites at that point. Um, then, and so they'll they'll then be in a polar orbit of, of, of Gilly, and I can I can adjust them in I can adjust them and make them give them the a sensible orbit for their particular scanning device. Then I want to transfer to a polar orbit of Eve uh, and drop the other half of my satellites. And adjust them. That is, I believe, my plan. Uh, come on, how are we getting? 20 seconds. I would have assumed that I'd babbled more than enough to actually get through that. But I don't want to do anything until the sphere of influence change has actually happened. And specifically, the sphere of influence change has happened, and this orbit here has become a blue orbit. Where is that? Uh, might be worth trying to get that into Eve. I was trying to get an asteroid that was completely outside of Kerbin's sphere of influence and it just went horribly wrong. Got a long time out there. Must decide if I want to do something with it. Come on, two seconds. One encounter. Now, oh, because just because. Um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right. Oh, well, now I actually do have um, time to do gravity scan. Let me check my... Oh, I've got tons of... Tons of electricity. So I'll transmit that. I'm only getting 40 science for transmitting it, but um, that's still not, you know, it's still something. Can I see? Is that Eve? I believe it must be. So probably going to get a lot of the ability to do um, gravity scans and things. So temperature in space over Eve, 20 science, meh, it's not terrible. So another dish is opening up uh, to do that transmission. I've lost Eve again. <coughs> Thought I could see it, but there, there we go. Now it's saying I can do a material study, but I've a sneaking suspicion that material study is. St I thought the material study would be stowed. Uh, I think the material study is in there. Um, so I don't think I want. Wow, I get 125 science for that. Mm, neat. But I believe it's stowed in there. I think that's where they are. Because those those are all just um, like temperature and and stuff like that. So I don't actually have. Um, I 
the ability to to uh, no, can't be done. So I don't believe. I think I'm going to have to wait for uh, Mr. Goo and materials until the lander that is inside there uh, is deployed. So we're going to ignore those. So I've got some science. Uh, where am I up to? I'm up to 748. I need to get up to a thousand science before I can really do anything useful. How air of arm? Gilly, can I get to Gilly? Now, again, oh, I want to check my, my ship again. Cause, okay, yeah, I think I want to, I think I want to just junk the tiny amount of Delta V that I have in there. I don't believe that's going to help me. 20 meters a second. Don't think it's going to help me. So I want to see if I can get to Gilly. Uh, you know, I should be able to. Should be as simple as just. Well, I don't know what it's going to be. What's going to cause it? Um. The problem, of course, is that Gilly's uh, sphere of influence is so very low. Might be better. I wonder if I might not be better off. You can, see, you can see I'm actually going quite close to her. I think. Well, I don't know where. Mm, I don't know where Gilly's going to be. To be perfectly honest. So maybe what I sh would be better off doing. is circularizing here and then doing um, circularizing here and then um, working out stuff from there. That's going to be pretty circular, uh, and that's going to give me. Oh, um, I think that's going to give me my best shot. And then I may have to do like a transfer maneuver type thing. Uh, you know, actually work out the transfer from um, Eve to Gilly. I think that is in fact what I'm going to have to do. That's my best bet. Ooh, this is a sluggish craft. Right. This is another reason to junk the back end of this craft. All right, so make sure my staging isn't stupid. So if I stage, I should lose that and that, en that engine starts up. One of the reasons I want to do that is that it's now going to give me a more maneuverable craft, hopefully with the um, reaction wheels I have to point towards my maneuver nodes and such like. Still not the most maneuverable of craft. I tend to make unwieldy craft. I tend to not to give them enough ability to to maneuver. One of these days, I'll get it right. And I've griped about this before, but I, I didn't put a good enough computer core on this.
how long have I got towards that manoeuvre? Oh, a day, it's fine. And I've got 2,000 Delta V bound up in this craft. Um, and each of these individual satellites has quite a lot of Delta V as well. It's just that um, it's not showing up on this because um, <coughs> by the time once once I've I've triggered their um, uh, separations, then they're not part of the craft, so their delta v never counts. But I've got two thousand delta v in this portion of the craft, so that is going to be just fine and dandy. Uh, do I really want to circularize, circularize? I mean, there's a certain amount to be said for having a very elliptic orbit, given that I want to go, go into a polar orbit of, of EVE. But I think I'm going to go circular and then try and work everything else out from there. So I'm pointed towards my maneuver nodes. That as well as I'm going to be able to. Uh, let's chuck in a... Not one of them. Huh. We have a bit of a disagreement here between this one seems to think it's going to be one day yeah. and I don't have any other nodes be paying attention because gravity scans um, every time there's a new gravity scan that's a new biome that I've, I've wandered over um, and that's a new piece of science I can I can get Ooh, 40 science 788 science woo uh, I'm kind of confused as to the discrepancy between I wonder if the number of hours is just number of hours in a day is confusing them because two days is six hours uh, is 12 hours plus four hours is 16 hours which is what is that saying I think I think Flight engineer has got the wrong number of days, is what I think. Number of hours in a day. Ex gravity scan while in space over Eve's Explodium Sea. Wow. It's another 40th of science, thank you very much. <clears throat> a sea of Explodium. That sounds awesome. Wait for that to... Well, we don't really need to wait for that. We, we can... I have nothing in particular to lose by just... Fast-forwarding ahead. Yeah, I think I think um, um, I think Kerbal Engineer's idea of how long a day is does not match with Kerbal Alarm Clock's idea of what a day is, and um, so that's fine. Another forty seconds. You can see in red 
the um, the orbit that the ScanSat contract thinks I should go for. And we'll see how close I get to that when the time comes. Okay, let's just warp ahead. Get rid of precise node. Don't re don't need precise node right now. Once you've once you've actually got the node set, you don't really need it anymore. You don't need precise node set up. Uh, oh, missed that gravity scan. That's okay. So I think we're going to do, that looks like I'm going to be coming up to a, a, my glasses are falling apart, but that's okay, they do that. Uh, okay, so that's coming up to 20 minutes. So we are on our way uh, to getting uh, science around Eve. I've already got a fair amount of science. Now over 800 science, woohoo. And about as good as I can get on my maneuver node, I think. Fast forward a little bit. To get to uh, within about 10 seconds of node burn. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. So that's going to be about a minute of burn. Just under a minute, 20 seconds. So I might as well do my closing, which is, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Do please hit like and subscribe if you've been enjoying these videos. Come visit Nearly Enough Dice at nearlyenoughdice.com. Also Facebook and Twitter. Exciting. Uh, and until next time. Reach for those stars.